Cosmic Impact, Susan here. This is Sheldon, this is Simon, and welcome to Did You Catch All That? You guys like us, right? We're here every month. We're telling you what's up in the world of comics. Um, how it's like a highlight show, isn't it? It's a little bit of a highlight show. We're right? like the, like cool. the e-highlight show of comics. Like we, Sports Center for people that like sports. Yes, or like the Sports suit. Center. Yes. <laughs> as you're cosplaying as someone. No. Oh, nice. No, I'm not. Nice. Yes. Watch he Community. Like, he likes Joel McGay. He does a lot. Anyway, so... He just has perfect bone structure. Not like you, but anyway, go on. So does Tom Brady. <laughs> Do you know who that is? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Well, what? You don't Simon, know what I'm Wait, Simon you claim to be the hockey. sports guy with me? <laughs> it's not it's not basketball. Simon. Football. Oh, football. football. No. No, that's... American football. Oh, yes. NFL. Football. Football. Yeah. football. <laughs> yes, it's football. Football. Right. football. Okay. These guys are goofs. I'm going to take off. They're going to talk to you about some pros and cons, I think. Yep. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Pros and cons. Activate it. <laughs> That's we're never doing that again. All right. Okay. So first of all, uh, I want to go with pros. Sure. So my boy J T. Crow has left Green Arrow. Issue four is gonna be his last one. Why J T? You made me like Ollie. I didn't care for Ollie, and now I do. I'm not wearing my Ollie shirt anymore. Keep it together. I believe in you. Thanks. Daniel Okuna's gonna draw adventures. I guess that's cool, right? That is cool. That is cool, actually. I, I liked him. Because I, yeah. I used to like him. He was on uh, Uncle Sam and the Patriots, so. Yeah. And another writer left DC. Two out of the new 52. They, they couldn't. That's not good. Well, well what's up no, with that? Maybe they just got off on other stuff because they were like, yeah. their stuff was so good, they had to move on to other things. So. Really? Static Shock? Maybe it was really good. <laughs> yeah, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Tell them. But JT? Why did we break up? <laughs> Green Arrow! I think you guys still need to go to a hockey game together, right? Yeah. I know hockey. hockey. I know that sport. Alright. 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 I'm gonna... Right. Have cons. Cons. Break. I thought I was done. But no, hey, there's there's a bunch of cons, right? No. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, if you're holding out for Wizard World uh, LA, it, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> if it's this week, as we're shooting this, so... Well, it would've been. Yeah. Would've been. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, they decided they didn't love LA. I guess we're not good enough for them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh... We do have ApeCon coming up October the 2nd through the 3rd. In San Francisco. In San Francisco, that's right. Woo. Good job. All right. Uh, and then we have uh, Geek Girl Con, which is October the 8th through the 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you are a geek and also a girl, I think you qualify Or for support it. girls. Or support girls. So Susan will tell us more Simon, about you can go wear a dress. Only if you wear one. Wow. Let's do it. Wow, boy. Kilts. 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 Yes. Yeah. Now we're talking. Wow. All right. Uh, then we have New York City Comic Con, which is October the 13th through the 16th. Uh, Shit, we're not going every weekend. Yeah. It, it, it is almost every weekend. It's a full, October's a full month, man. Exactly. They're, they're gearing up for Halloween. They are. More on that coming soon. Uh, Long Beach also. That's the closest we get for <laughs> yeah. LA. Long Beach. The 29th through the 30th. I thought I was doing Sorry! That. I love Long Beach. Do you? Kong. Yes. Do you? What, yeah. what do you like about it? Is it like the ocean? Yeah. I like the waves. Is it like the Jersey Shore no. of the West Coast? No. 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 Great show. What? <laughs> no, no, not Jersey Shore. No. no. Long Beach Comic Con. Okay. Yeah. All right. That is a good show. Um, you look like someone from Jersey Shore tonight. What? Can you put your jacket up like that. What are you talking? I gotta go throw up now. I got issues. A lot. Yeah. That one too. The air conditioner went on, so it might make some noise. But you know what's awesome? Uncanny X Force number 15. More of the Dark Angel stuff. Amazing. Matt did not pick this as his pick on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. Why? Does he not like the goodness of Rick Remender and Jerome Pena? I think you should go out, get this. And also, I know it didn't come out in September, but number 14 came out a couple weeks apart. It's part four and five. The first trade should be out pretty soon. It's amazing if you enjoy good art. Amazing storytelling and deep, deep storytelling. Rick Remender's doing something amazing. Jerome Opinion's back on the book, but there's no bears. What's up, Jerome? Hey, what's up? Um, I'm here to talk about Girl on Girls because that's what I do every month, because I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm really not drunk, I swear. Anyway. um. 
A lot of big changes for DC. This is kind of going to be the DC show, but you know, that's what good marketing does when you have the new 52 all in one month. So I have my DC girls who are going to co-star with me talking about their new books. Wonder Woman will kind of save later. I don't really know what's going on with Hawk Girl. And don't even get me started on that Batgirl book. Read my review instead of me talking about it. I'm here to talk about, um, well first off, let's, let's start, there's the good news and the bad news. The good, the bad news first. The bad news is Birds of Prey, which I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And then there's Catwoman, where I think that when you open up a book of a character that you love very, very much, and the first panel is boobs, um, you know that it can only go down here file from there. Um, there is a Catwoman porn coming out though, which I think might have less sex in it than this book. Um, so we're gonna go with the good news, which is Supergirl and Batwoman, two characters that I previously didn't really, uh, whatever, Supergirl was fine and Batwoman was fine, but I didn't love them. Way to get me to love them. I love these two new books. Supergirl is probably like the prettiest book that I've seen. Oh uh, wait, I'm also holding Batwoman and that's a really pretty book too. I don't know. Read these. They're two of the prettiest books out there. They're two of the most awesome DC chicks out there. So just pick these two up and the one I'm going to talk about later. That's it. Uh, oh, hey Comic Impact. I'm Sheldon and I have issues. Issues of Red Wing by Jonathan Polybag Hickman. This is sadly not Polybag. And uh, the artist Patara. Uh, I don't know their first name, but I do know that this book is awesome. There's only four of them. Uh, this is issue number three, and let me tell you, it's a whole lot of time traveling, uh, interdimensional stuff. That's it, it's awesome. It's basically X wings and time travel. You put those things together, and you get an awesome, awesome book. Uh, I highly recommend it. I am Sheldon, and I have issues. Hey, on shelves now. So a lot of people have been bitching about the Star Wars Blu-ray and the big no, no, it's not that bad. I watched them earlier today. If you still enjoy Star Wars like I do, Dark Horse just put out this really nice omnibus collecting all the movie stuff. It's really nice, takes you back to that special place. And there's a couple of no's in it, but it's okay. It's not that bad. Same with the Blu-rays. Great deleted scene with Han on Jedi. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, Venom. You heard me talk about Rick Remender earlier on. This is the other book that he's working on. Venom is amazing. Tony Moore's on the art duty on this book. Great stuff. And it links up to Spider Island coming up. I don't like Flash Thompson usually, but this is really good. And Rick Remender is probably the best Marvel writer around right now. Shit, he's probably one of the best writers around. Venom, go buy X-Force, really. It's Susan, I'm the horror girl. Apparently I didn't enunciate that very well last month and it came off as whore girl, which is a different thing entirely, that's what Starfire is doing this month. That's not what Scott Snyder is doing this month, which by the way, this segment is just gonna turn into like a love affair with Scott Snyder because my two favorite horror books right now are Severed and American Vampire Survival of the Fittest. Scott, we love you at Comic Impact. You are fantastic. You scare the crap out of me. I'm loving your slow build in Severed, mostly because it's just a throwback to all those amazing horror movies that are just like really, really creepy and just like get into that primal fear that we all have. Speaking of being scared, next month is Halloween. As your horror girl, I hope that you all read my column, Horror on the 13th, and in that we are going to have a very, very special trivia question. Now last year we had you just hold up your comic book character costume because this is comic impact, it has to be a comic book character. Comic character costume. You're going to hold up the piece of paper with the logo that we will be sending out and in addition to that, we're going to have a horror trivia question that will appear in Horror on the 13th. You have to not only have the best costume, but answer the trivia question correctly. And I'm going to make it hard. I'm going to ask my boyfriend to help me and he is like the horror guru. Like you don't understand. So between the two of us, we're just going to kick your ass with this horror like trivia question. So there you go. Pay attention um, and get scared because that's what Halloween's all about. Um, back to the boys. Hey everybody, Sheldon here reading another issue. This is issue mm. 20, 21 or something of uh, Fear 26 Itself. of Matt. 495. Matt Fraction, what's going on buddy? 
it, it, Marvel's stretching this out a bit, just a tiny bit, right? A bit. Yeah, it's, a lot. It it makes me want to drown things. I believe it. Um, what happened in this last issue of Fear itself? I, I what, what's been happening? They're still trying to kill Sin. They're still in Manhattan. Buildings are falling. Comics are trying to catch up. It's the art's pretty. The art is. Yeah, the only thing I could say is we're getting a lot of great Immamin stuff, so that's, that's good, nice. right? Hey, it's not as bad as Schism. No, that's Schism true. Schism. Excuse me, gentlemen. Gentlemen, move what? along. Move oh, along. shit, it's Man Talk. The impact. Move what? along. What? Move what? along. What? Move what? along. What? Yeah. What kind of crossover yeah. is this? Excuse me. Hi, guys. This is Matt from The Impact, and those guys don't know what they're talking about. X-Men Schism has been a fantastic event. Jason Aaron has been bringing some brilliant characterization to the X-Men, particularly Scott Summers and Wolverine. I mean, the, the moment in this issue right here where they finally come to blows, you know that this is something that, while they showed respect to each other earlier, this is finally showing how they really feel about each other. Particularly when Scott Summers says, she never loved you. She was always afraid of you. That was something you know has just been building up in his heart for years, and he finally uh, had the guts to say it. And we got some brilliant Alan Davis art. It's worth, I mean, the Alan Davis art was brilliant. What are you doing? Shouldn't you be writing the impact right now? Go. Oh, bloody hell. Go. New guys. Um, hi. Normally, this is where I would show you a whole bunch of books that are creator-owned comics, but uh, the ones I was going to talk about are sold out at this particular comic store, which I think is an amazing thing with all the things that are going on with DC and Marvel and the big two and all that, that creator-owned comics are still sold out. So what I was going to talk about is the fact that Green Wake, Moriarty, The Trades came out this month. They're fantastic, um, of course. If you've been keeping up like you should have since I've mentioned them before, you would know that these are amazing books. But now you can get them in trade form, get the first story arcs. Um, also, Reed Gunther uh, is having a trade that's coming out next month, so we'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that next month. But those guys are fantastic. And um, yeah, get some creator-owned books if you can find them. I mean, I couldn't, so good for them. And Keep writing, make comics. Hi everyone, Matt Todd here from The Impact and I'm here to talk about comics on film. There's a bunch of news broke this month and I'm actually pretty excited. First up, we've got Captain America, the first Avenger coming to Blu-ray October 25th. Really excited to check this out again. I already saw the movie like four times in theaters, so ready to watch it another four times. Also be sure to check out on the Blu-ray, you're gonna have some behind the scenes footage from the Avengers, which will be awesome. So you can actually see a little bit on the trailer, which you can find on this week's installment of The Impact. Uh, you can also, if you're in the mood for more Joe Johnston films, you can look at uh, The Rocketeer, which is finally coming to Blu-ray, and finally getting a decent transfer. That will be coming, uh, I believe, mid-December, I believe December 13th. Um, also announced this month, two of DC's supernatural heroes, The Spectre and Dead Man, are both uh, in development for to be developed in a TV series, Dead Man for CW and Spectre for Fox. I expect Dead Man to be a teenage wonderful drama and will last forever and the Spectre will be a brilliant show and Fox will cancel it after half an episode. So hopefully those will uh, not work out that way but they probably will. Um, big news uh, from Marvel Studios is that they are apparently eyeing Patty Jenkins to direct Thor 2. Uh, Jenkins who had previously directed uh, Monster with Charisse Theron and uh, the pilot to The Killing, which is positively brilliant. Uh, she, if she's named the director, she will be the second female director, uh, the first being Alexi Alexander for Punisher Warzone. Now, I don't blame Miss Alexander, but hopefully uh, Thor 2 will turn out a little better. Uh, and last but not least, uh, Drive director Nicholas Winding Ref is in the mood to direct Wonder Woman. Uh, hopefully, and he's apparently been talking to Christina Hendricks, and she's all down for it, so I think that would be actually pretty awesome. And if you get a chance, be sure to check out Nicholas's new movie, Drive, because it's the closest we'll ever get to an Ed Brubaker movie in theaters. So, guys, check it out. I'm Matt from The Impact, and be sure oh, to check it out. Hey. Oh, hello. Hi, do you write The Impact? I do write The Impact. Wow, that's, that's Ladies hot. and gentlemen, the benefits of comics journalism, right here. <laughs> I'm Matt, be sure to check it out. Issues. Issues of Wonder Woman. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 
we all know that I've been a big skeptic about the new 52. Um, Brian Azzarella's Wonder Woman is proof that it can be amazing. It's a brilliant book. The story is fantastic. It's everything that you love in a Wonder Woman comic. You get her, you get a story, <laughs> um, you get just Brian Azzarello brought his m him uh, I can't talk. I'm too excited about this. My tongue's tied. Um, he just brought a lot of himself to the book, but without losing the character that we know and love as Wonder Woman. So pick this up. It's it's really really wonderful. Even if you're not a Wonder Woman fan, this is a great introduction to her. So uh, if you love her, keep, like pick it up. And if you don't love her, then pick it up anyway and start to. Pop. What? Pop, pop. Pop. All right. You we're all white. What's up? <laughs> what up? It's true. I don't know if you noticed. It is. Anyway. Wow. Um, that was, did you catch all that for the month of September? I'm not what sure. What did we learn? Well, I'm not sure what that was. I learned a whole bunch about you guys right now. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, I'm going to go watch football because I can't deal with these two anymore. All right, That's go that. I'm going to. Fine. Go. I'm going to. Go. Woo. Woo. Fine. Hey. Pop, pop. hey babe, how you doing? <laughs> hey. Well guys, that's it. That's another month. Um, busy month. It was a busy I'm month. I'm broke now. Thank you, DC. Yeah. JT, I'm, I'm still mad at you. DC, seriously, a dollar to my name. One. One dollar. And it's not even mine. I actually think it's Simon's. Um, Straw. I know. Uh, thank you again for continuing to watch these crazy videos on, on Facebook, on YouTube. Wherever we put them, you seem to come to them. So thank you again. Um, and we look forward to seeing wow! you. Oh, okay. Bye! Did you catch all that? I'm dying!